Hello, all you beautiful peoples. Uh, setting my timer. Okay. So the next couple of videos I'm going to do is going to be more skincare related. Okay. Um, yes, there will be some products in there that I'm going to tell you guys about, uh, but it's not going to be your typical. Oh, look, the sun is shining. Can you guys see? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed it is. Um, okay. So. It's very hard for me to do skincare without uh, emphasizing the fact that whatever you put inside your body is going to influence your skin a lot more than what you put on top of your, your body or on top of your skin. So um, I'm going to introduce you guys to a product today, a new product that you basically can put in your skin and on top of your skin. Okay. And I don't know how many of you guys have heard about this product. Um, I, of course, won't be, I've only got 10 minutes to do these videos, so I won't be able to give you all the information. So here's what I'm going to expect you to do. I'm going to introduce you to things, and then you guys are going to go to Wikipedia or Google, and you're going to do some more research on this product if you want. If you don't want, if you want to ask me logical questions, um, that's okay. You know, just what is it, you know, like what does this mean or what, that's fine. Don't expect me to go and Google stuff uh, for you and then bring you websites, okay? My Google works exactly the same as your Google, my Wikipedia. I love Wikipedia because Wikipedia... When you do research on that, there's a lot of links to research that have been done on products, um, and that's clinical studies and stuff like that. If you link from there, like you can get to many, many websites that you guys can read up. Like Wikipedia is the main thing in my house. Love it, love it, love it. So um, go check it out and, and 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 see what you can find. Now I've got eight minutes, so. Uh, okay, the, the product that I want to introduce you guys today is called a hyaluronic acid. The medical name, I'm going to try and not rape it this time, is called hyaluronan. Hyalu hyaluronan? I don't know. I don't speak a dead language. Okay, anyway, uh, what I want to tell you guys about this is, okay, well, first of all, what is it? Okay, Hyal hyaluronic acid is a product that comes in your body naturally. It is basically the thing that works alongside your collagen as well as your elastin fibers in your skin that keeps your skin firm and plump, okay? It moisturizes, it lubricates, it firms up, and it carries. It's like a, like a pillow uh, uh, that carries your collagen fibers in your body, okay? It's something that gives fullness uh, so that there's no wrinkles. It's something that uh, works on your connective tissue, keeps it healthy, keeps it lubricated so that you don't get all kinds of tears and, and, and um, uh, any connective tissue issues, okay? <laughs> tissue issues, <laughs> if that's even a word, okay? So I did a little bit of reading up um, and I'm going to give you the information. So here it comes. It's going to be a ton of stuff. So it's going to be quick. It's going to be fast. There's going to be a lot of information. Okay. Uh, so first of all, you can actually ingest hyaluronic acid. How do you ingest it and where do you get it from? It's very closely linked to protein, uh, animal protein mostly. So um, I'm going to give you a couple of sources because you know how what I'm like about the protein. I've been pamper, I've been hammering and hammering on protein forever, and here is why you need protein. Protein uh, indirectly is also an anti-aging product. Okay, um, sugar ages you. Protein renews your body, makes you younger, makes you stronger, holds onto your uh, muscle fibers, blah blah, all of those things. It also rejuvenates your skin, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so where do I find hyaluronic acid? First of all, all meats, any kind of meat you can find, there will be hyaluronic acid in it because any animal, every single animal you eat has hyaluronic acid. Anything that has a muscle or um, tendons have hyaluronic acid, okay? So um, it's mostly found in animals. Now, there is for vegetarians two sources where they can find minute, minute little bits of... Uh, uh, um, um, Hyaluronic acid, okay? The first one is a sweet potato, and it's not as much as you would get with meat, people. It is like you would have to eat a bag of sweet potatoes to get the same amount as out of two or three meals of, of protein, okay? Uh, the other one is um, potatoes. Now, <coughs> that's another option for you. There's not enough hyaluronic acid in a potato 
to uh, would make me want to eat a potato, okay? Because by the time you have eaten enough potatoes to get the hyaluronic acid in your body that you need, you will be so obese, it's not even funny. So for me, that's not even an option, okay? Another way, people that are not vegetarians, that you can make uh, um, uh, uh, yourself something that you can ingest hyaluronic acid is by making a soup or a, <coughs> excuse me, a... Um, a broth, basically, of boiling bones of animals, like, you know, if you have steaks or, or uh, T-bones or some, some or other, ugh, I can't think of a meat, people, use your brain there, uh, boiling that up and then the, the broth that you get will have hyaluronic acid in it. Now, what happens to your body is as we age, our hyaluronic acid um, drops, our, our levels of hyaluronic acid drops, and um, that's why our uh, connective tissue gets all screwed up, our uh, skin cells are not as firm, our collagen gets broken down, uh, and that's why everything hangs and sags, and that's why you get wrinkles. So, I just wanted to tell you guys, people who do not eat enough protein, um, the, the short, okay, I'm going to read you something quickly. Uh, hyaluronic acid is a component of connective tissue whose function is to cushion and lubricate um, your, your, your cells in your connective tissue, right? Hyaluronic acid deficiency. Those people who are getting older and do not eat protein, this is what's going to happen to you. <coughs> hyaluronic acid deficiency is directly linked to common connective tissue disorders. And here's a little list for you. Osteoarthritis, uh, glaucoma, uh, detached retinas, wrinkles, people, wrinkles, uh, fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, can you believe that? And heart valve problems, because all of those things need hyaluronic acid to function properly. Okay, so that's the one thing. Now I've got three minutes and I want to run from, <coughs> and I will actually eventually make a video on products that actually contain hyaluronic acid, we'll get to that, but for now, uh, let's just, oh, there's too many, too much information. I want to quickly jump from this to something else. If there's anybody, and I'm sure there is, people that has gone to plastic surgeons and has had uh, fillers done for their wrinkles. Have you guys ever heard of the product called Juvederm? Now, Juvederm is a, basically a filler that you get on the market now, and it's been out for a very long time. I've dug up on Juvederm, but I've gotten to an older website where you'll go and say, oh, it's newly approved by the FBI, FDA. Ignore all of that stuff because it's been around for like 10 or 20 years or whatever. I don't know how long. <coughs> But, uh, okay, here, I'm just going to read it before I say anything. Okay, newly approved by the FDA, blah, blah, blah. Juvederm is a filler made of hyaluronic acid. Among wrinkle reducers, Juvederm is, <coughs> is an ex exciting new product, not new, due to the fact that it appears to be simultaneously effective and longer lasting than some other fillers. Um, there's a bunch of fillers on the market, people. Um, this thing has been coming for generations now. Basically, what they did to uh, uh, do uh, fillers in, in people's wrinkles was they started off with fat. They basically would um, uh, subtract or, or uh, get fat from your own body and then fill it in because as you get older, you lose fat in your face, right? And I tell you, if you guys are lean, it's even worse because once you reduce your fat, it's kind of one of those uh, catch-22 situations. You can either have a beautiful body or a beautiful face because if, you have, if you're lean and you have low body fat, you also see the effects in your face because you, fat is the thing in your face that gives you shape to your face. And once you lose all your fat, you see wrinkles faster. So you kind of... It's one of those, okay, uh, do I want to be fat and have a pretty face or do I want to be, uh, have a good body and my face might be more wrinkly? Anyway, so now <coughs> going back to that, what they did was they used, they used to use fat first to fill in people's wrinkles. Now, obviously that didn't work very well because people would lose fat or if they would diet, then it would cost them mega bucks to get refills again of fat and get fat sucked out if somewhere else in their bodies or whatever to get their wrinkles filled in. The next thing they went to was plant-derived um, collagen, which doesn't last in your body. It basically dissolves like vitamin C. It goes through your elimination system and you pee it out, basically pee it out, okay? So the next thing they went to was uh, animal-derived collagen. And there is a bunch of people, like, they still get that. And a lot of their permanent fillers are as it, uh, actually lies in um, uh, animal collagen. Now, some people are allergic to that, so it doesn't work. Like, you have to get a, a, a test before you can get those fillers done. 32 seconds, okay? Anyway, so they've gone from collagen fillers to hyaluronic acid fillers. Now, what did they say here? Quickly, 24 seconds. 
Okay, uh, Juvedem filler that relies on hyaluronic acid rather than collagen to plump up the skin. Hyaluronic acid is a substance naturally found in the human body since the hyaluronic acid in Juvedem is created by biosynthesis um, in a laboratory. Patients are not required to take an allergy test before receiving this treatment. So you can get your fillers, you can go, and what they do is they inject um, basically your wrinkles with um, the hyaluronic acid, and that stays in your system. Eventually it will get broken down, so you have to go back once or twice uh, every year to get your fillers done. So Juvederm, hyaluronic acid, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information on hyaluronic acid. The next video I'm going to do is actually going to be on a product that is worldwide available at plastic surgeons' offices and at spas um, where people can get the same product. It's something that I use in my salon that I didn't mention before. We'll talk about that in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.